Infrared radiation is a type of electromagnetic wave that all objects will emit and absorb. Remember that infrared waves have slightly longer wavelengths than visible light, meaning they are a type of electromagnetic wave that we cannot see. Let's take a look at two objects, a dog and a ball. There are many infrared waves surrounding us, so the ball will absorb some of these waves. The dog will also absorb some of these waves. At the same time, the ball will be emitting infrared waves back into the surroundings, as will the dog. These are both objects which are constantly absorbing and emitting infrared waves. Because the waves are being emitted in all directions, it's also likely that these two objects will be exchanging waves with each other. The ball receives some waves from the dog, and the dog receives some waves from the ball. It's important to emphasise that this is just two of many, many examples of objects which emit and absorb infrared waves. Living or non-living, metal or non-metal, big or small, all objects will behave in this way. But why do objects emit infrared waves? Well, emitting infrared radiation will cause an object to lose internal energy and decrease its temperature. This is a behaviour of all objects, but it's easiest to observe in things like a hot meal or drink cooling down, or a warm person standing in a cold room. We can also make deliberate use of this with an electric heater. As we pass a current through the heater, it causes its temperature to build up. Remember that objects with high temperatures have a lot of internal energy. The heater will emit a lot of infrared waves, which is how it releases this heat that has built up. Though remember that it will still be absorbing infrared waves at the same time. Now, what actually happens when something absorbs infrared radiation? Well, absorbing infrared radiation will cause an object to gain internal energy and increase its temperature. So we see this when we absorb the waves emitted by the heater to warm ourselves up, or when we leave ice to melt in a warm room. We also use this in an oven to cook things, like a potato. The oven produces lots of infrared waves, which the potato absorbs. This means it is absorbing the energy from these waves, which causes its internal energy to increase. So the potato heats up. Normally, this just raises its temperature, but the high intensity of the waves in the oven causes the potato to cook. Remember, the potato will still be emitting its own infrared waves at the same time. For your exam, you need to be aware of how all objects can both absorb and emit infrared waves, though you don't need to know why this happens or why it's infrared waves in particular which are emitted and absorbed. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.